quarantine period for a person with acquired deaf blindness, Jeanne. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeanne. I'm deaf blind, I have low vision, and I'm hearing impaired. I'm 29 years old, I live in the city of Turusu, Rio Grande do Sul, in the countryside. Through this video, I want to tell you a little bit of what this quarantine has been to me. Well, currently, I work as a receptionist in a social institution, in a project with children and teenagers. And since March 20th, we had to close it. I work directly with children and adolescents there. I stayed a month straight at home. The people there have been helping the families because they need food. And the children needed the activities, so my colleagues continue this assistance work with these families. After a month, I came back one or two days in the week. This is going on until today. So once or twice a week, I go to work, which is here in Pelotas, in the city of Pelotas. I want to tell you what I did within this month straight at home, and on these days too, which are three more days of the week at home. Well, my mother stays there for a month straight as well. As I said, I live in the countryside, and we have a very big yard. That's a privilege, because we can walk on the street without feeling guilty. We can take a walk, see the trees. We had a lot of things to weed, scrape, we cleaned the house. We cleaned up a bunch of mess that we don't have time to do while working. And we took this opportunity to make dulce de leche. Here in the south, we know it as mumu. We baked cookies, these treats that we sometimes don't bake because we don't have time and we use this time to make them. I also took the opportunity to do more, to read too. I wanted to tell you a little about it. As I am with my mother, she reads a lot this book here that is Castelo Forte. It is a devotional book. Every day there is a biblical passage there. And it tells a little about daily life, about the current day by day, so it is very interesting. It shows what is going on nowadays. It's really good for us. I read Pão Diário or Orando em Família a lot. These you can also read on the internet. You can download them on Google. It's pretty cool that you guys can read there because that's easier. For those who have trouble reading paper books, you can read them there. So now I want to give you a tip on masks, okay? Because we that are in this situation, and when we go out, we have to be wearing masks. We must have hand sanitizer always at hand. Take care and be able to take care of others. The virus is all around us, and we don't know what it's gonna be like. I got some internet tips because you know, if you wear glasses and just put the mask on, they get fogged up and you can't see anything. You can't work like that. So I got some tips, some of them worked, some didn't. I'll share these tips with you. This tip of the soap in the lens, for me it hasn't worked and neither another one, for example. I'm wearing a mask here, and I put a piece of paper on this part of my nose and fit it right in. We can use that absorbent paper that we use in the kitchen or that napkin paper that is softer too. It helped on the first day, but then it didn't work anymore, and it was giving me a hard time. My colleague three weeks ago said, what has solved for me is the micropore tape. Those little tapes that we have for bandage, that we have for when we get hurt. 
You put a bandage on it and stick it, so it doesn't fall off. This tape has solved, because then, for example, I take a piece, I teared a piece here, you then turn it. Take a strip like this to fit right over your nose, close this part and turn it over. You turn it over to be like double-sided. I've done a part here, for example, in the mask, here inside it, then you stick it in here and then you put it on top. Pretty well fitted, like this, pressuring it so it sticks to your skin and it's been working for me. I've been able to work with the mask and the glasses together, so whoever wants to take this tip, it has been working for me. Well, for me this quarantine has been quiet, I haven't been through any kind of trouble. I had to go to the supermarket, right in the beginning my husband used it to go, but I can go too, I go, I take care of myself, when I come home, I take my shoes off, I take a shower. Take my clothes off, we gotta take care, right? So, I guess that's it. This time is passing, it will pass as soon as possible and God is taking care of us. Everyone doing their part and it's gonna be alright, okay? A hug to everyone, bye bye. Credits Translation in Libras, Brazilian Sign Language, by Tatiane Bonfim. Portuguese Subtitles, by Vanessa Cristinier. English Subtitles, by Gisele Santos. Subtitle Review, by Laura Ancilotto. Dubbing, by Sandrine Ren. Edition, by Fernanda Falkowski and Renan Antonelli.